Hey and welcome back to Chris Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for enchiladas. I've taken my own spin on it and not being biased but it's the best enchiladas recipe I've come across. It is spicy and cheesy and I'm sure you're going to love it. It's super simple to make so let's get into it. The full ingredients list is in the description box below. You will need tortilla wraps, this recipe will make 8 so just the quantity if needed, bolognese sauce, onions, fenugreek, curry powder, paprika, turmeric powder, ginger, garlic, one bell pepper, tomato, cheddar cheese and chicken breast strips. In a pan, on a high flame, you want to add in a quarter cup of oil. I'm using olive oil, use whichever oil you prefer. And to this you want to add your onions and you want to cook this until they are golden brown. Once your onions are golden brown you want to add in your tomatoes, ginger and garlic and cook this on a high flame for a few minutes before adding in all your spices. Once you've added your spices you want to cook this for 3-4 to four minutes, keep stirring it and add a dash of water every so often to prevent the spices from burning up. Once you have cooked all your spices and your tomato and onion mixture, this is when you want to add in your chicken. You want to add in your chicken, stir it very so gently and cook this for 10 minutes. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. I am adding roughly 1 teaspoon of salt, you can adjust the salt depending on your preference. After 10 minutes you want to lower the flame now, place the lid on and cook for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes your enchilada mix is nearly ready, this is when you want to add in your peppers and you want to cook this on a low flame with the lid on so it can create steam inside the pan and the peppers will cook a lot faster. You also want to add in your fenugreek now. Once the peppers are nice and soft, that's your enchilada mixture done. You are now ready to fill the wraps and roll them. Depending how much filling you want in your wrap, you can adjust how much you're adding. I'm adding roughly two to three chicken strips into the wrap with a few peppers and gently rolling that. Make sure it's nice and tight as you don't want any of that mixture to escape. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week.
Once you have rolled up all your wraps, this is when you want to add in your sauce. I'm using roughly three quarters of this jar. Just be generous with how much you are adding. And now you want to sprinkle your cheese on. There isn't an exact quantity of how much cheese you need to add, this just depends on personal preference. Sprinkle some oregano on top and it's now ready to bake for 20 minutes on Gas Mark 5 or until the cheese is golden brown. After 20 minutes in the oven the enchiladas are done. I am serving mine with chunky chips. You can serve with whatever side dish you like or enjoy the enchiladas on their own. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button and comment some suggestions below. And if you're new to my channel then make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for the support so far and if you do make this recipe feel free to send me pictures on Instagram. The link can be found in the description box below.